So in this blog we're going to have a look at bringing in the InfraWorks model we prepared earlier into Civil 3D, opening up a new file from a metric template, in this case not the South African template but just a normal template. settings, we're going to set the coordinate system, we are using the Universal Transverse Mercator uh, coordinate system, UTM, for an island called Mauritius, South, the zone. And now that the InfraWorks model and the Civil 3D model share a coordinate system, we can open the model from the SQL Lite file, which is saved on the local drive. And within the dialog, we'll see that so long as the SQLite file is relinquished by InfraWorks uh, and the coordinate systems are the same or compatible, this will come in. And then we can also choose what elements to bring in from within this dialog, or we would have been able to switch them off from within InfraWorks. I'm going to keep everything on and open the model. Now, the great thing about this is, is that it now sets the location for this model. So going to the geolocation tab, it's contextual as soon as the uh, location is set, one can then switch on the online map data. And then one can also capture an area. There we can see that it interpreted. So, so the image we can see from the contours and the alignments are aligned. So InfraWorks and Civil 3D are now aligned with each other. And there we can capture the area of the map that we're interested in and switch off the map again. And that just makes it a little bit lighter to work with. There we can see some surfaces that were brought in and just to show that the alignments that we brought in, or the surfaces that we brought in, if we had to change the surface property not to display, then we'll see the underlying surface showing through. So that is a wonderful way in which InfraWorks can help you with the beginnings of a design within Civil 3D.